Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Transformers Masterpiece. It's a sound wave, and it is the Toys R Us exclusive one. Uh, MP02 Masterpiece sound wave. Here's how it looks uh, in packaging from the front, and uh, it has a sleeve over uh, this black area. It's basically a sleeve over. You can see the top. On the side, a little info about sound wave. Welcome to pause and read that, and uh, his uh, stats. And down here, an embossed uh, Decepticon logo. Same thing with back here and on the side. This uh, Decepticon logo is raised, and uh, includes five cassettes. That's great. And uh, what is this? Uh, the Energon Cube included. So yeah, let's take him out of packaging. Alright, inside there's a plastic tray with everything you see here. There's uh, Megatron, and then uh, there's Soundwave and his accessory, Energon Cube, cassettes, five of them, and then for uh, those, uh, uh, for uh, Rumble and uh, friend, uh, Rumble and uh, whatever, whichever one of the other guy is, the accessories for him. Alright, I was trying to uh, move the hip joint and uh but it's super super tight and i don't want to break this whole peg off this piece right there in the center uh because uh this whole thing's made out of plastic there are no uh, uh metal parts here and i don't want to put too much stress on that one little tiny piece which is right there when you're transforming him so what i did was uh, i took this thing apart basically there are a bunch of screws uh five of them actually uh, back here and then uh, unscrew them and you should be able to detach the whole lower assembly and then um, and then uh, see the hips here basically two pieces of uh, cylindrical pieces attached to a wheel right in the center so I just have to pry it open and then right now I'm just trying to loosen it up a little bit before I put it back together so it will actually move otherwise it will totally break that joint off all right after I um, disassembled the hint uh, the hips finally got it put back together and uh, now it's working uh, nicely uh, it is still a bit tight I sand down I sand it down a little bit but uh, now at least it works and uh, yeah so let's uh, take a look at the figure itself well you know what let's go over the articulation real quick Actually, the head is on a hinge. Uh, you can look up and down, and then base of the neck there's a swivel, and then we have these uh, ball hinge uh, elbows. Swivel around the bicep, and then double jointed elbows, so he could actually look, do this. And there's a swivel around the waist, and the uh, and then we have these very very tight ball hinge for the hips, and then hinge knees. And then uh, double hinge ankles. Well, it's uh, see one of the hinge is moving outward, while the other one moves forward and back. As you can see, one hinge right there, the other hinge right there. And as far as the hand, uh, there's no thumb articulation. The index finger has uh, two hinge joint, one in the uh, the knuckle area, and the other one in the th uh, finger. And then um, uh, the rest of the three fingers, there's uh, one joint around the knuckle area, and that's it. And the rest are swivel. So now he could actually tap on his uh, eject button. Well, almost could tap on his. Well, he could actually tap on his uh, eject button. Yeah. So that is very very cool and here's sound wave and uh, the head sculpt on him is really really good and uh, let's see how tall he is since we have him standing straight right now and uh, this thing stands about 9.25 inches in height so he's quite a tall figure Tall robot actually. So yeah, there he is from the front and on the back. 
just as nice. And once you tap the eject button, you can see there's a slot right there for the cassette. Very nice indeed. And each cassette comes with its own little case too. Nice touch. And you slide laser beak down and you close it and there you go right there. Very, very cool. Alright, and it looks like this thing could actually hold three cassettes. So currently I have three cassettes in there. And then uh, back here, this is a release button. Just pull this down and then uh, the back end will pop back forward. Here you can see I have Ravage, Ravage up front and then Rumble back there. Alright, here's a tip. Uh, don't put Rumble in here because uh, he gets stuck in there. So uh, basically I pushed the thing all the way back and was finally able to put uh, to take Rumble out. And as you can see, quite a deep slot so you could fit three cassettes in there. And here are all five of the cassettes. Nice. Let's transform them. Alright, and here are all the cassettes transformed and uh, wow these are these are really really nice um, Ravage is decent uh, I like it but uh, I think the, the USB Ravage is a little bit better uh, but this one is very very impressive though here's a close look at Ravage um, the base of the neck there's a hinge joint then shoulders are ball jointed Hinge uh, knees and hinge ankles. Same thing for the hind. Well, the hind legs. I see. Uh, the hips. There's a hinge. The ankle. I mean, the knees. There's a hinge, and the ankles also hinge. And then there's a tail that moves up and down a little bit. It's ravage. Very, very nice. Mm, there's a fun view of them. And here's the other side. And here are the two birds. We have laser beak right here. And just go go over his articulation, not a whole lot. Um, neck, there's a hinge. And then base of the neck, there's another hinge. And then the legs could actually swivel and swing out wings. And then here you can flap up and down a little bit. And there's the camera on top of his uh, head too. And there's Ravage with his uh, little spy camera. Very, very nice. I do like the two birds. Actually, I like all the cassettes. They are oh, very well done. And here we have Rumbo with the two pistons. They are really, really good. And as far as their articulation, uh, the neck, there's a swivel, and uh, ball jointed shoulders, hinge elbow, and uh, hinge uh, wrist, nothing around the waist, and then uh, ball jointed hips, double jointed knees, ball jointed ankles. So, really, really good too. Here's Rumbo again. And here's the back side of him. And the other accessory you're gonna get is the Megatron. Megatron pistol with a removable scope and a silencer and also collapsible stock and I believe this is the same one that came with uh, Optimus Prime a few years ago well the MP01 I think the original MP01 and here's the pistol without all the accessories scope the barrel extender and the collapsible stock so here we have Soundway with the laser beak one hand and the other one with Megatron. 
very very cool and here's Soundwave in his uh, cassette player form there's the button on top very clean here's the side we got a some sort of a control maybe an equalizer control I'm not sure mm -hmm. and then here's the back side very clean same thing with the bottom very clean and this side you have the earphone jack and then the volume control right there it's nice yeah this thing is very very impressive very very nice indeed so in the cons cassette playing uh, cassette player form he is about five inches in length height is about three and the depth it's about two one more look yeah highly recommend this guy if you can find him uh, I picked this up at Toys R Us for $120, $120, and it's well worth the money because uh, you get all the all the cassettes, all five cassettes, and a very, very impressive sound wave. And also the Energon Cube, which is basically just a box right there. Yeah, in the grid. So, very, very cool. Uh, highly recommend this thing and uh, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching